Hello my friends of the internet and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a first impressions video talking all about the Cultivate What Matters 2020 Power Sheets Goal Planner. If you guys want to watch somebody that uses this all the time and highlights this in her videos, I'm going to recommend checking out Plan with Lakin. I will leave her link down below. And just a quick disclaimer, I did get this in PR from the company and I just wanted to share an open box and share with you guys what I got, my impressions, all that good stuff. So I literally haven't even opened up the front flap yet. I wanted to just leave this here until I finally had the time to open it up and share it on camera. First impressions on the exterior. I love the gold foil. I mean, I know this is a lot of color for me, you guys, okay? But I love that there's the gold foiling. The foiling, you know, with some covers and like some planner companies, um, no shade. But there are some that like aren't a full foil like you could already see like foil bits coming off this is a full foil like this is beautiful um even on like the thinnest sections of the words like it's top notch i love the gold rings these are really really nice like the cover like is really hard i like the reinforced corners in the gold and they're also reinforced on the back as well and yeah they're like it's like a thick it's not even cardstock it's just like a it's like a board it's real real hefty and I like it so I like um, the potential durability of this planner for sure so let's open it up Ooh, look at that like pretty little teal thing on the inside and then there are two little cards in here and it says you know all those things you've always wanted to do you should go do them huh you know what I should go do them <laughs> and then this is my word of the year and it's just like really pretty thing on the back there's nothing but then you can put your word of the year i didn't really pick, pick a word of the year this year um and then on this side there is hold on I like i just cut my nails the other day so it's like hard for me to do anything so there is a little pocket right here and i thought for some reason this would open it does not so it just has like a little pocket flap here so you could put I don't know put some things in there I guess anyway I'm gonna put those off to the side and then the first play or the, fir the first page it says let's do this and it says clear vision intentional goals hashtag power sheets and I believe that this is the 2020 sixth month undated power sheets intentional goal planner and on the website right now it retails for $44 but it's on sale for $38 as of me filming this I don't know if they're just like running a special or what but i think this is a six like one two three four five six and then this is like i don't know i th i think that's what this is i'm not really sure it usually would say it in the front i thought but um i don't i don't really know but that's okay so we're gonna keep going and um this is just to put like your name and the day you started so you can really start this anytime which i kind of find really nice oh look there's stickers you guys know I love me some stickers and I really like their colorway. It's like nice and bright and it says this is nice. This year I make it happen or I'm sorry, I can't read today. This is the year I make it happen. Ooh, the back end of 2020. Let's hope that we make something happen this year. Um, anyway, so there's lots of other um, little stickers here. I really like that. I love a gold foil because I'm just in the, into the gold. And then this is your 2020 goals idea. It says, what do you want to cultivate in this year ahead? What comes to mind? First, as you think about 2020, what do you hope it will look like? Write some thoughts and ideas here. No perfect handwriting needed, just dig in. So this is basically, you can just like, kind of bullet point out what you want to do. Over here, there's some examples. It says, save money, love others well, get outdoors, take care of my body, be more present, get some rest, and then start blank. So like start I don't know, whatever, start your projects, whatever you want to do. So anyway, I think that's a really great idea. I like that this page is blank too. So if you had like a whole bunch of ideas, you could actually write on the back of this like sticker sheet if you really wanted to, if you kept it in your planner. Um, all right. So, whoa, there's a lot in here, you guys. <laughs> wow. This says comparison isn't just the thief of joy. It's the thief of everything. Isn't that true? You guys, like I just filmed a financial video um, about my five budgeting tips and one of them was about comparison I'll link it up in a card for you guys because that video is gonna go up before this one does and it is so true it's like one of the things that 
I really struggled with when comparing my life to other people and it was it took me a long time to kind of get over that and I think we're all like I'm still a work in progress on that for sure so over here there's like a little I don't know kind of like a little checklist here um it says you are unique and that uniqueness will help you find the sweet spot oh cool who you are helps determine where you're going and what specific goals will be have fun with this choose what's true for you so like a word that describes you I'm most encouraged or like ways I'm most encouraged and there's like places for you to write in certain things Oh, that's really cool. Like what you value. There's lots of different really cool things in here. It's, this is kind of reminds me of like kind of getting to know yourself as well. I think like some self-reflection is sometimes really difficult for some people. I don't know. I, I want to like show you everything, but I also don't want this video to be like an hour long. So this one's like, what fires me up? What things, activities, or experiences fire up your heart and lead you to live with intention? Write those things, sketch them, or place pictures here from them. Oh, that's really cool. I like that idea of putting pictures. That's really cool. And then, ooh, a life evaluation. Holy moly. This is getting like way too deep, y'all. <laughs> so it's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing, but there's different categories of like health, friends, spouse, or significant other, which would be like that for me family, finances, spiritual and personal growth, work, and then recreation. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You can kind of just like, evaluate like where you are and maybe what you want to do. And then it says, break your identity box. What have you decided that you cannot do? That's actually really good to know is what you cannot do. And then it says, I am capable of change. Where were you 10 years ago? Holy moly. You guys don't want to know where I was 10 years ago. There was a lot going on in Emily's world. Not always good things, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and then it says, where are you today? And then what has changed since then? Um, I think that's really good. Like in, in your name, I am a, and then think, just think beyond your job title here. And then in the past I have blank, but now I'm ready to blank. And then I value blah 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 that's cool and then this says i'm moving past fear i fear blank because blank and then you can kind of write a few of these and it says if i were to step into these fears and take action i would feel blank wow this is a lot of like at least my perspective like i said i hadn't looked at any of this at all i watched a couple of lakin's videos so i wasn't super familiar with this like Whole setup. I have to say this is like basically like you need to know who you are to make progress and I think that is a part of doing the work is you need to know who you are and how you operate so you can make choices to get to whatever goals you have. So this is a good things. What worked in the last year and then challenges. What didn't work in the last year. Those are good things to know for sure. Lessons I've learned. People I'm grateful for. Um let's see and then like the big picture where do you want to be when you're 80 or 90 or 100 what will matter to you then and what won't matter to you then that is that's pretty deep y'all and then my legacy where do you want to be what do you want to be known for why i want to make what matters happen in the big picture and then um yeah lots of other good stuff okay I'm trying to ooh, brainstorm for a year ahead goals and ideas for the season ooh what I'm saying no to and what I'm saying yes to I could fill that up <laughs> and then over here oh this is where you choose your word so you know what your year is your word and why you chose the word um, and then yeah and then you can write a little thing about imagine your best year ever all right and then you get into your goals Hold on, I'm gonna keep going here. So how to choose your best goals, simplify your goals. And then you've got, let's see, eight goals on this page. I don't know if you would necessarily have to make eight goals. I mean, maybe, I don't know, that works for some people. Maybe you just need one goal. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you just gotta start with like baby steps, you know? All right, next page is, oh, okay. So these are like the, the tips for your worksheets. So we'll get into the worksheets in just a few minutes, but there are just some tips. And then, so your goal one is your action plan, your goal, why, progress, all that good stuff. So, and then you've got, okay, so this is your overall goal. And then these are your mini goals. No, I'm sorry. Whew, can't talk today. So your goal number one, 
which is from here. So this is your number one goal, put it here. And then these are your mini goals to achieve this goal. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. <laughs> and then again, goal number two, goal number three. So you just break it down into smaller um, action steps. So four, five, six, and seven. And I think again, you wouldn't necessarily have to do all eight goals, but I think it might be there for, you know, if you start achieving goals um, and then maybe making some new ones or, you know, I don't know, everyone can use this differently. And here's your yearly overview. So quarter one, two, three, and four. And then here I think is where the months start, I think. Um, again, my first time flipping through this thing. So it says prepare well, important to do's, I'm excited for on my mind and I am hopeful that and then um, and it says clear the mental and heart clutter to move forward with clarity. Ain't that the truth? Oh, and then you can write the month right here. And this little tabby is blank. So you could take, it is um, laminated, but you could take a like permanent marker and probably write on there or like use a little label maker or something if you wanted to label the tabs. And here's your month. So you could write in and, you know, put the put the days and all of that if you want to track certain things um, to you know reach the goals that you had set out for yourself. I like that there's a little column with some lines as well. Um, and then in here some top trending tips. Ooh, share your goals, use your stickers. Well, I would use my stickers. <laughs> Make what matters happen this month. So here's your goal to focus on this month and your action ideas. Um, encouraging words, top priority, monthly action items and your progress, weekly action items and like, you know, your week and daily action items habits. So if you want to like, you know, have like fitness or water intake or like make the bed or whatever it is, it could be as easy as like taking a shower or self care or like washing your face. Um, you know, you could put those in as well. And then this is totally blank. So you could use that for whatevs. And here's your monthly review. So you can kind of put some things in here and then also what I'm saying no to and what I'm saying yes to. And then the next month and all of these pages I believe are the same. Let's do like a little flip through just to make sure my suspicions are correct, which they are. Okay. So then let's go all the way back. Okay. So on the fourth month, hold on. There, it's a different. So that says, hooray, it's time for a refresh. Write out your thoughts on the past three months. Oh, cool. All right. So I think this is like a, yeah, this is like a quarterly goal session. Oh, okay. And then it starts back to normal again. Got it. Okay. So the middle one here is your like quarterly refresh. Cause I was wondering why there were seven tabs. I was like, this doesn't make sense. Like I'm no mathematician, but that didn't make sense to me. So this is your refresh to kind of reevaluate your original goals, your original eight goals, and um, either adjust them or maybe you've met some of your goals. You know, because a lot of things change in three, a lot of things change in a month, let's be honest. So yeah, and then there are more sheets back here that are all the same for your month. And then you've got your last one. And let's see if there's anything um, different in the back side of these two. Okay. So here is the last, uh, sheet and then for like, you know, your month view. And then over here it says celebrate progress and then celebrate what you want to see more of. And then there's all the highlights and you can, you know, use them from all the different months. So these are the last six months. Very cool. I really like this. This is a really neat idea. If you guys use these power sheets, let me know down in the comments below. I'd be really interested to, um, you know, know how this has worked well for you and if it has worked. Sometimes I feel like for me personally, um, writing things down just like makes it happen. You know what I mean? And I feel like sometimes if I don't write things down, that's when I tend to have like lots and lots of struggles and that is not good. And sometimes when you have just a dedicated planner of just like, here's my goals, laying it all out on the table. Here's what I struggle with. Here's what I excel at and making an actual plan is sometimes really, really rewarding in the end. So anyways, I'm going to jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out the 
the Cultivate What Matters 2020 Power Sheets Goal Planner. I will leave a link below to this company so you guys can check these out if you're interested. Like I said, the book is on their website right now. It's $44 retail, but it's on sale at me filming this at $38. Um, there's also other things that you can get on their website too, so definitely check those out if you're interested. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button, comment down below, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys! Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.